the pads that I'm going to put on are the Yak Bonos, as you can see right here. And uh, these are ultra premium disc brake pads. Pretty simple, pretty sweet. They don't come with hardware, so you got to buy your hardware separately. But these are the pads. As you can see, they're pretty, pretty decent. So we're going to go ahead and marry these up. To the brake rotors now these brake rotors if you look on the inside pay attention to the direction of the slots and then the direction of the slots on the outside these are uh, centrics that were custom ground and they are harmonically balanced as I was told so they're both the same way for all four so it's sort of universal fit you can put them on any wheel and you don't have to worry about direction of the slots because the slots are ground opposite of what the pattern is on the outside to the inside so uh, you slap them on and then you carry on forward now I'm not gonna make this into a brake replacement video uh, I'll go through some of the steps real quick but the whole point is is I've made a lot of brake replacement videos and this is the first time that I've ever used slotted rotors I've never used drilled so I'm just putting these on my Ford Edge at 246,000 miles and we'll see what they do and how long they last because the original set that I'm taking off like I said lasted 150,000 miles so we'll see what these do this might be the last set of brakes on this car I don't know but we're gonna go ahead and put them on and I'll show you the process and then the end result here at the finishing part and we'll see how it went you use the uh, 30 t30 on there and we just spin that bad boy off of there real simple there you go got it off we'll use this easy red which made quick work of that pin we take the pin out right there because we're getting this caliper off of here this easy red seems to make the job a tad bit easier. There we go. Get that off. Popped right off. Look how clean it is. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wire wheeled the uh, slots here on the caliper bracket so that it's nice and clean and now we're going to go ahead and uh, grease everything up went ahead and used the uh, caliper tool and got the caliper seated back in remember up and down so it matches the pads notches and we're all set so let's go ahead and start replacing these pads and uh, rotors okay this is the part number for the rear brakes and these are the parts so we're going to go ahead and put these on the rear brakes these are the napa part number here for the caliper kit everything is greased up with the ceramic grease here that i had left over i'm using it up before i use the other stuff these are the old boots pretty nasty so it's time to replace those so all new boots pins are greased up everything's ready to go now we're going to go start assembling Pump. Hold it. Pump. Gotta love old brake fluid. That's what I got out of the uh, first brake bleed.
I don't know if it's recording though. You see a red light? I see a red light, yeah. Okay, it's recording then. Thank you, Missy. Big Fuba. Huh? Can you get me that rotor? It's on top of the garbage can, that thing that's black and round. Yeah, it's heavy. Both hands. Ooh, one arm, huh? Ooh, you got some guns on you, woman. Wow. You got some serious guns. No, I think I can get it. Just need to get it slid on here. There what we go. What is that? That's how you do it. Well, I guess the next thing to do is to bleed the brakes. Okay, pump. Okay, pump. Hold. Pump. watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.